Hey guys, Misto here, and welcome back to Adventure with Wendy, where we are entering the darkness. That would have been so much dramatic, so much more dramatic if I could have waited two seconds for the title card to show up. And this is where we get stuck in infinite loading for the rest of our lives, and it it never loads. It hasn't. It's never done this before. It's actually asking me to wait for program to respond. Oh, there we go. Darkness. You think the darkness is your ally? Let's arouse the wrath of the great Maxwell! You will regret coming any further. Uh oh, what is that sound? Oh my god, it's stuck doing the loading sound forever. Are you kidding me? Okay, it stopped. It stopped. That is not nice to have right next to a spawn, especially where you gave us the fire pit. Are you kidding me, Maxwell? That's not fair! Alright, so our goal, because we have the recipe, is to find a firefly. That's all we need. So we brought the stuff that we need to go ahead and craft a rope. We need more twigs, oh god. Our twigs are also next to the merms, that is unfortunate. Luckily they give us a twig, but I think we're gonna have to take some damage here. You know, while I have the fire, let's cook these so we don't have to stop later. They last 10 days either way, cooking them will refresh them a little bit. But this is fine. I'll trade some HP for a twig right now. The second we get a miner's hat, we are much better off. And I see a thing right there. We have two fire pits. Interesting. Okay. We have a miner's hat. So we have a miner's hat. This is why we left the, uh, the Tam in the other world. Now, based on history, running into the swamp tends to be a bad idea. It was actually to this way before. I don't know how we take any guesses on this. Um... But I say we just go, any fireflies we see we catch, and it's time to go. The biggest benefit of this is we get to have the walking cane the whole time. So this is going to be like a speed run, right? In the truest sense of the world, we, no it's not. It's not going to be the truest sense of the world, but you know. We're going to do our best, we're going to go quite swift. We have food, we have extra sanity from this. I need to grab twigs and things. I'm too scared to go forward without having something in my back pocket just in case. I know the miner's hat fixes everything and honestly if we made these in earlier chapters, if we focused on getting this and didn't have a backpack, we wouldn't have to carry so many twigs and grass and everything else. We would be fine. Now I don't think these lead me to where I want to go. I used to think that they would lead you on a trail. Kind of like the last chapter leads you on a trail. That is definitely not true. So let's check this way. We'll grab any food we see because food is rare in this chapter. Another reason you should bring food to this one if you can. If you can afford the slot because you are probably going to wear a miner's hat and nothing else. So we're just going to run around the edge because this is a line. Once you find it away, you're gone. You're good. We have the divining rod. We're excellent. Everything is okay. Follow the edge. So we're going to do the super safe speedrun style. Normally in speedruns, you take risks. You just bolt. You'd probably be using the infinite torch glitch a lot more to go just slightly faster. Um, you'd also be playing a character that's not windy for sure. Go ahead and grab some healing if we need it. 
pop that walking cane back on. Keep that going. Biggest benefit of the miner's hat is a walking cane is in your hand. It's always been its biggest benefit. Oh, Moggles has that same benefit. And I guess technically a court candle hat also has that benefit over a torch. No! You jerk! You slowed me down. Oh my god, is it actually going to be that way like I said? Because I was just joking. And was going to follow the edge no matter what. Sweet. Lots of healing. Just be certain. So we're going to be using fireflies as fuel. Darkness is not nearly as bad as you would think. It turns out a miner's hat is really good. It turns out blue caps all day long is really good. Arguably a benefit even. Like this is one of the biggest benefits of playing lights out. Is that since it's permanent night. Blue caps are always available. Every time it rains they come back out. That's a ton of healing. It's, it is excellent. It's an excellent thing. Also means it's really nice to decorate with fireflies. What I'm basically saying is, I miss playing Lights Out. Lights Out is actually kind of fun. In its own twisted way. Because it's not insanely difficult, it's just... The challenge is interesting. I don't know how to word it. Maybe it's just for me. Maybe nobody else feels the same way. Nobody feels the way I do about you now. Oh, we have more healing and food than we will ever need. Woo, they murked that tentacle. Please don't murk me. All right, let's go ahead and load this up. Boop. It hurts to put fireflies in a miner's hat after playing so much uh, DST and solo. I can imagine new players watching this and doing it in their, their permanent worlds. Uh, we have four twigs now. We have a lot of healing. I think we... We actually go ahead and waste four twigs because uh, getting more fireflies is always good. And here, look, more healing. You know what? We could probably have used uh, this to get us there faster, huh? Yeah, because this is drawing closer. I think we would have seen we were going the wrong way before. Take free ropes, thank you. So each of these areas is going to have one. And we're gonna go in a straight line essentially. Hey look, a pig house. Hey look, a pig village. This is the most friendly place to live. That's not our thing. Twenty fireflies is probably enough. I think we should collect them on the off chance that what we're testing actually does work. And uh, we can carry extra items into Epilogue to decorate it. Uh, if that is working, whoo, we need to bring more fireflies to decorate with. Oh, there's something this way too. I don't need that many. I don't need a grass ever again. Because we have... We have five ropes prefabbed. That's 15 grass. I'm scared to make another net, but I will. I definitely will not make one when it's our only... Four twigs. Is it a dead end? This feels like we're going the wrong way. There was something this way, right? Must have looped us back. Yeah, it's picking up this way. Yeah. 
I really hope that we can decorate epilogue like I remember. It's been a long time since I've heard of anyone doing anything like that. Um. But we'll see. I remember hearing about like, I think it was Quesadilla, I really do, saying that he was creating like altars there where he would bring stuff every time he finished adventure mode to like decorate like more gems or something. Alright, we're somewhere near a thing, but there's also a lot of fireflies, and if we really can decorate epilogue, the thing I want the most of is fireflies. If we can decorate, uh, adventure mode, the epilogue, I mean, uh, you know for sure I'm bringing bee boxes, because if we ever set up a long-term world there, or like if we were ever going to try to survive there, and hang out, like, I wanna have me some bee boxes. Bee boxes are my favorite food source put them a bit far away from where you're camping the uh, the simplified model of production will take over they'll still produce honey I don't know how that functions when you're not inside the world but we'll find out oh there's a second one here what didn't we just pick one up Wait, did I not pick up the box when I was there? Did I did I seriously just catch fireflies in front of the box and not pick it up? I think that's what happened. Yeah, it is. That is absolutely what happened. Priorities, man. Priorities. Yeah, let's bring the gnome with us. See, I also think it'd be something fun, like, to bring the gnome from darkness every time you finish, uh adventure mode and use that to count how many times you've done it. A bit too late for that. I have no idea how many times I'd finished adventure mode. It's probably not nearly as many as I would think. But I really can't think of the number. I know I've done it a lot in the past. I know I've done it in first person mode. I've done it these two times. I've done it a few times to unlock Wes. Ooh long ago oh my god it, it's probably not nearly as many as I'm thinking oh food is gonna be a problem wouldn't it suck if we starved and don't starve we have these five and these eleven are technically food I'm so obsessed with collecting the fireflies why Am I so obsessed with this? It does not matter. Like, I should be bopping this dude on the noggin. Can we get... Wait, do you not pick up Flint? What? Oh, come on. We stood by it too long. Oh, why am I so obsessed with catching these? I don't even know if we can finish. If we can actually do the thing I'm thinking we can do. Which would be so fun. That would be the most fun part of the series, is slowly building up epilogue to give us a purpose to keep going there. Like, we have to bring stuff via adventure mode, carry it with us through all of the modes, decorate, and it has to be different stuff. Oh, where are we? What? Let's make sure we're actually getting the edge in there. It would be so fun. Think about it, if we can decorate it, we I would just line the road with fireflies. Like, there's already the torches, who cares? I want the fireflies. And that would create a visual darkness road, right? Because the map doesn't show up. So any area that we decorate would be hard to find, unless we left, like, both cobblestone and a, um... And a, uh... 
a firefly trail there. So what I would do if we were decorating that area is I would um, line, I would do like a two wide cobblestone and then put fireflies down the middle leading the way to sections. Oh hey look, we got a one up right next to a light. I hope that always spawns there in this mode. I really do. Oh my god. I think we ran in a giant circle for nothing and we're running out of food. Now, I mean, we could do something desperate to survive on food. I really don't want to. Like, we make a crock pot. Ugh. And we get ice and make meatballs. A meatball. We could do that. How long would I wait around for 12 and a half food? Not that long, it turned out. Come on, game. Bring me somewhere. Uh, I know this is not a dead end. It's a linear progression. I don't know why there was this giant wing of nothing, but you got me. You tricked me. I have been bamboozled, and I'm also quite hungry, because there's basically no food in. Oh, but there are bees. Bees are not a good source of food in, Diaz in single player. They are so hard to fight. Unless you have Abigail, and then we could get honey from them. <gasps> Oof! Ah! <clears throat> I am tempted. I am so tempted to summon Abigail. Oh no. I'm so tempted to summon Abigail and go back to those bees. I know the spiders should already be out, but they weren't whenever we were Weber. So I'm going to assume I can skate by these by not standing on the tiles. And sneak on past them. There is most likely something in there though. There has, this can't be another empty area, right? Oh god, is this how we starve? We have a lot of food. We have 11 blue caps. I don't want to eat the blue caps. Oh, there is something. Okay, I'm not crazy at least. We have to stop catching fireflies. It's somewhere in the middle of these spiders. I'm trying to be sneaky, I'm trying to be stealthy and not wake them up. Because some amount of spiders is too many, even for Abigail. I think we actually skated by them. Are you serious? Now, I would not like to, but we could fight these spiders to try to get food. We are only halfway there. A little bit less than halfway there. Wait, what? Excuse me. Oh, farms, okay. And food. Oh. 25. 
50, so not even a full day's food, but better than nothing. So I think we have to go back that way, because it should be linear. Oh no, it says something's this way. What? Back behind the bees, oh no. I should have known that was a biome and not just a lock. So we gotta go back that way. Good thing we didn't summon a million spiders or they would stay out, I believe was what we saw with Weber. Once they came out, they stayed out. So that's why I was actually being very careful there. We're missing some HP. Thanks, bees. But that means I get to eat those. Yep. Passed them. Okay, so we passed one. This will put us at four, and that means that that will lead us to the final biome. If I knew for sure we could carry these with us, I would be collecting them, because we have the 22 silk. But um, because I don't, since I don't know that, we're just going to play it safe, we're going to try to beat it. We get our last thing, we're there, so I guess for the final area we're going to bring 40 fireflies, a gnome, uh, probably our miner's hat, and I don't know, gold nuggets maybe? I don't know. At some point we're going to need to bring, of all things, Seeds. We're gonna need pine cones. Pine cones is gonna be like the most important thing we can bring because without any wood there, like we're not gonna be able to build anything. Oh my god, I'm getting hypey. I oh, I so hope this works. Okay, before we run through the next area, which will be mostly clockworks in the darkness with no armor as windy, which luckily we have that 150 HP. Uh, do we have anything, do we have any last prayers to say? Any, any deities to ask to help us here? Cause, uh... Whew! I mean, WX sees this as food, everyone else sees this as, oh god, why? Holy what? Is that part of that giant biome? That is all bishops. That is not even food for WX. That's food for no one. That is that is no man's land. Oh oh geez. I have nope. Ho! Oh, oh. You better not be kidding me that it's past that. There's no way. Oh, we're getting closer. Okay, so it's not that way. Thank goodness. Oh, 
All these fake out tiles making me think we're there, but it's not. Is this it? Is that it? That's it. Step away for a second, let them de-aggro again. So with us, we're going to bring the fireflies. Um, it's the final chapter. We won the game. What do we bring? We're bringing fireflies. Uh, what does the silk do for us there? I don't know if the silk actually does anything. Maybe we bring like the fireflies, the gnome, the boards, and our miner's hat so that we can see. And that's it. And if we win, then we get to leave these stuff here, which is awesome. More fireflies to decorate with. Uh, that means no walking cane this time. But I think we left the walking cane last time, so... Let's get ready to rumble. Oh, come on. You're wasting... Oh, no! Don't run me that way. We would need to get stuff like spiders there. Let's go see. Let's go find out. Why am I bringing five boards? That's so weird. It's so weird, but it's definitely the right choice. We fill this up and we throw it in and we go. Oh, come on, dude. Okay, are we gonna die? Alright, let's go. Everything's in there. Let's go. Leave me alone, dude. Don't hit on me, you filthy casual! Alright, let's get to the epilogue. Let's go continue! Let's go check. Let's go find out. I'm so excited. This is why I had to do a second one of the series. Because if the epilogue really does save all of your stuff, if you really can decorate, and it's been so long since I've done adventure, so I don't remember. If it does, which looking at how low fast it loaded, it does look like this is a saved map. If Checkmate is a static map that I can influence, that would be amazing. I should have left something there as a sign. I know the signs we left way back. There's no point in opening the map at all. See, this would need to be cobblestone. I would change all of this if I were taking over this place. No, this looks different. I wonder if this works. Same as the torch. It would be quite annoying, but... Looks like it actually works. You could use that as an infinite miner's hat. Probably only if it's already at 100. That looks like less rot than before. This, this looks basically the same. They didn't give us any flint though, so we can't actually mine anything. Which means one day when we come back, if this is saving stuff, let's find out. No. These are unfertilized, just like last time, so the fact that I fertilized them did nothing. Disappointing. Aw. Oh well.
I mean, the only place I definitely built it so built something was up here at the kitchen. Yeah, it's gone. It's gone. We left food. We left stuff. Ah. Oh, darn. Is that an old feature that got removed? Or is it just nothing? Am I really remembering nothing? That disappoints me, but... Oh, well. Say la vie, right? I mean, maybe if we built somewhere different, it would save? Did I leave anything? I think I left something in front of the throne, and we left stuff back there, most of it. Like a Tam, maybe? If I was still wearing that? No, just Weber, huh? Maybe the map doesn't reset if I don't change characters, so I leave Weber on the throne? I am disappointed. Wonder what he did. Well, he finished the same thing you did, sweetheart. I'm just I'm going to have to look up some more information about this cuz I remember that being a thing. I can't be crazy, right? I wonder where we started. Oh no, there's no map. Ah. Hmm. Disappointing. Well, that means none of this stuff matters, so we can go run around and explore more. Sadly, don't have a cane to play with. So we're going to be slower. Uh, that place is probably still back here, huh? Hmm. Maybe if I build off to the side where it's not generating the stuff that has to be there. Like, maybe you can't change the walkway. Oh, this is zooming me in and all that to get closer. Ew. Yeah, because you can't come up on the Nightmare Throne from a different way. So, let's throw one over here, I guess. God, stop changing my stuff, Geometric Placement. I don't like that one. Well, unlucky, I guess. It's not really unlucky, it is the way it is. I guess I just remembered it wrong. Oh well. Well, let's throw Wendy on the throne! <laughs> Where she'll be stuck forever. Take that, fans of Wendy! Ha ha! Weber is free and is confirmed as the best boy. And now Wendy will be in permanent timeout. See, this looks so much nicer. Imagine if this would stay. I don't actually remember how to leave him on the throne and not change characters. No. Is there another place back here? I thought it was that teleportato, which actually makes him stay. Oh, that is messed up. Hey, look at the light out here. This would be a cool place to live. Put a lightning rod here. I'll try to remember that if we ever come back. Why would there be a lightning rod here randomly, right? That would have to be a sign this is something that we did. And maybe it's a place where we can do it. And I will leave him the gnome. But I don't think it matters. I think everything uh, resets, sadly. Oh well. 
Be free, best boy. We did it as Wendy, guys. Not bad. Wendy was pretty good at this. She was fine. Um, I did notice how darkness was a fair bit harder to stay fed whenever you're not Weber, but uh, much, much easier and faster when you're actually ready to make a miner's hat and you leave behind garbage, like the Tam, which you don't need. So that's going to do it for our adventure mode. The cycle continues. Will Windy ever escape? Perhaps she too will tire of this wretched place and use her powers to tempt the unsuspecting. So anyways, guys, let me know what you thought about this one. Let me know if you'd be interested to see more adventure modes in the future, and let me know if I was wrong about the epilogue uh, saving. Maybe there is a different way to leave the epilogue such that it maintains the same map between them. I'm actually going to message uh, Quesadilla, who I believe is the one who talked about this long ago, to see if he knows anything about it. But let me know down below, just in case. And, as we say in my country, Otsukare Samades, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!